Hello friends, welcome to Pravega Education. In this video, I am going to discuss a question from CSIR Net December 2023 exam. Basically, the question ID is 705054 and uh, the question is basically from the nuclear physics. And if you talk about the subtopic, this is from the gamma decay. Okay, it's a very easy question. The, the question is saying the ground state of 207 PV nucleus whose atomic number is 82 has a spin parity is 1 by 2 minus while the first excited state has a spin parity 5 by 2 minus. For the transition from the first excited state to the ground state, possible multipolarities of emitted electromagnetic radiation. So, it's a very easy question. Let's first write the question ID. So, the question ID is 705054. Okay. This question is from section C. Five marks question is. Okay. So, the first excited state has a spin parity 5 by 2 minus. And the ground state has a spin parity as 1 by 2 minus. And they are saying that the transition is from first excited state to ground state. Okay. So, the value of Ji, Ji value is how much? 1 by 2 minus, right? Or you can say 1 by 2 if you talk about the spin only, right? Ji value is 1 by 2. Sorry, j i value will be 5 by 2, not 1 by 2. The initial value we are taking is 5 by 2. Okay. So, j i value is 5 by 2. And the ground state has a spin parity as 1 by 2 minus. So, value of j f will be 1 by 2. Okay. Now, let's talk about the what will be the range of order of multiple transition. So, its range basically defined as modulus j i minus j f to j i plus j f. Okay. This is the range how we define for the order of multiple transition. So, what should be the range of L? j i minus j f that is 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2. It should be 2 or 3. Right? If we add both of them, it will be 3. When we subtract, it will be 2. So, the order of multiple transition, there is value of L will be either 2 or 3. Okay? So, the value of L will be either 2 or 3. Now, let's talk about the parity. So, if you see clearly, it is mentioned that the first excited state has 5 by 2 minus and the ground state is 1 by 2 minus. That means there is a no change in parity. Okay. Here parity is not changing. If parity is not changing, just directly apply the condition for the electric multipole transition or magnetic multipole transition. Okay. So, what is the condition of electric multipole transition? electric multiple transition condition is pi f it should be equal to pi i but multiply by the term minus 1 to the power l okay okay and what is the condition of magnetic multiple transition magnetic multipole transition condition is let's write it as a dash pi f dash should be equal to minus 1 or you can directly write as pi f no use to write pi f dash pi f should be equal to minus 1 to the power and plus 1 pi i okay so, it is clear that the parity is not changing. So, 
So what should be the condition on L so that the parity should not change? So the value of L, the range of value of L is 2 or 3. Okay. So look at this equation. Let's suppose equation number 2 and this is equation number equation number 1. This is equation number 2. If we put L is equal to 2 here, okay, L is equal to 2 here. So what will be this? Minus 1 square, that is a plus 1. That means the final parity should be equal to initial parity. Because parity is not changing. Na? So what should be the value of L in the electric multipole transition? It should be 2, right? The value of L should be 2 for the electric multipole, okay? So we can write it as E2, okay? E2. And what should be the value of L for the magnetic tra multipole transition? The value of L should be 3. When we put L is equal to 3, it will be 4 minus 1 to the power 4, that is plus 1. Only then the parity will not change. That means here L should be equal to 3, that is M3. So yes, we got our answer. So the possible multipolarities of emitted electromagnetic radiation would be E2 or M3. Alright, either E2 or M3. So option 4 is correct. Option number 4 is correct. Either E2 or M3. This is the correct answer. Okay? Thank you.